Hello and happy holidays. Welcome to Let's Do Business, the monthly program that highlights opportunities for minority and women-owned companies to do business with the city of Winston-Salem. I'm Walter Fairby, the coordinator of the city's minority and women-owned business enterprise program. The purpose of the MWBE program is to build close relationships with local minority and women-owned firms and to assist them to develop their businesses. A major aspect of this program is to ensure the inclusion and fair treatment of MWBEs on city-funded construction projects. Our projects have a minimum 10% goal for MWBE participation. However, those with more general construction traits will have higher MWBE participation goals. The City has an MWBE Citizen Advisory Committee that meets monthly to discuss formal construction projects and the participation of MWBEs in those projects. The committee also recommends MWBE participation goals for projects and analyzes the good faith efforts of general contractors that don't meet project goals. City construction projects are bid out in two ranges, formal range projects and informal range projects. Formal range projects are estimated to cost $300,000 or more and are awarded to general contractors. To participate in these projects, MWBEs must be general contractors or must work under a general contractor bidding on that project. Construction projects in this range have MWBE participation goals. The City County Utility Commission also has goals for its formal range construction projects. Some Utility Commission projects are highly specialized, but there are still opportunities for our local MWBE businesses. There are no new formal projects bidding with the City or the City County Utility Commission during the holidays, but bidding will likely resume after the new year. To learn about new formal project opportunities, contact Purchasing Director Jerry Bates at 747-6939. Informal range projects are estimated to cost less than $300,000. For these projects, you submit a bid directly to the City through the Purchasing Department. These projects don't have MWBE goal requirements. However, they still may have subcontracting opportunities. There are two informal contracts bidding in the month of December. Nielsen Water Treatment Plant Chiller Replacement. Scope of work includes HVAC work and the replacement of a 10-ton split system chiller. The bid opening is scheduled for December 4th at 12 o'clock p.m. in City Hall Room 16. Shelter lighting at county parks. Scope of work includes replacing mounted light fixtures in several park shelters. The mandatory pre-bid meeting will be held December 3rd at 11 o'clock a.m. at the Walkertown Community Park, located at 2701 Darrow Road in Walkertown. The bid opening is scheduled for December 16th at 2 o'clock p.m. in City Hall Room 16. Please remember to frequently check the purchasing and MWBE websites in case dates and times of meetings change, as well as to catch new upcoming projects. To learn more about these informal projects, including the scope of work and how to submit a bid, please contact Darren Redfield in purchasing at 747-6936. Please remember, the city is ready to work with any local business and especially our local minority or women-owned businesses. We suggest MWBE businesses become certified through the State Office of Historically Underutilized Businesses, especially those that are in the construction sector. This one-stop certification is valid throughout North Carolina and takes the place of local programs. Certification is free and certified businesses are listed in a database used by all state departments. You can begin that certification process by going to the Historically Underutilized Businesses Department of North Carolina State Government. You can get there by following the links on the city's MWBE web pages or use an internet search engine by typing in Hub NC. Remember, you do not have to be certified as a minority or women-owned business to bid on city contracts for goods and services. However, being certified allows the city to contact your business when there are opportunities here. If you have questions regarding these projects or the certification process, please call me at 734-1262. There are two more exciting programs that I would like to discuss. The Community and Business Development Department of the City of Winston-Salem will be holding a small business plan competition soon to provide startup money to a new business. 
If you have been thinking of starting a business, this is the perfect opportunity to complete your business plan and potentially win money to further develop that business concept. The competition winner will receive up to $10,000 in financial assistance. Eligible submissions must be for micro businesses with five employees or less, and the business must be located in the neighborhood revitalization strategy area as defined by the city. This area includes downtown and portions of the northern, eastern, and southern quadrants of the city. The business must also create low to moderate income jobs or provide benefit to the low to moderate income community. Staff from the Business Development Office will be available to provide technical assistance to participants throughout the competition. An informational meeting will be held in January to outline the requirements of the program. Please check the Community and Business Development website for more information or contact Ruben Gonzalez at 747-7474. Also, I would like to thank the more than 50 budding entrepreneurs and small business owners that participated in this year's Section 3 MWBE Business Training Program. We had a very engaged group that attended our 10-week course which started in October. Over these weeks, we discussed many aspects of starting and operating a business. Some of the topics covered included market research and advertising, taxes, writing a business plan, and finding money. We also had stimulating presentations from professionals in the fields of law, accounting, insurance, and business financing. This program is a valuable opportunity offered to local citizens each fall. Although the class is offered only one time a year, the Business Development Office is always open and willing to work with local business owners. Whether you need help preparing a business plan, wish to apply to our Small Business Loan Program, or just want to discuss some ideas and concepts, please use this great resource. For more information, please visit our website at development.cityofws.org. If you have questions regarding any of these programs, please call me at 734-1262. For the city's MWBE program, I'm Walter Fairby. Let's do business.